Glory be to the Most High God in Jesus' name. All right, amen. It's the Church of the Lion God, Pastor Ish. Okay, so you don't know, you're coming live and direct from HMP. And um, as you know, it's the month of Ramadan. And in this series, we're chatting to um, the brothers, um, believers, different nationalities, different ethnicities. We're just chatting to the guys that are in jail to see how... God is impacting them on their lives, on their journey. So I'm here with my brother S. He's a practicing Muslim. It's his month. And um, do you want to say hello to the listeners, to the brothers and sisters? Yeah, hello. I'm S. In jail, fasting right now. I'm chatting to my lap pastor ish. <laughs> All right, well, S. So we've been trying to get this interview done for a hot minute, but I know that you've been. Were you fasting? Are you having to do your prayers and all those type of things? I know it's um it's a month where you need to keep your head level headed and clear. So for those who are unsure of what Ramadan is, what this month means, would you like to explain to the brothers and sisters what Ramadan is? Thank you. Ramadan is the month where you have to fast from sunset to sundown, and obviously during Ramadan it's it's time to reflect, to humble yourself. You know, normally you'd be out there, you'd be doing your thing and whatnot. But when it comes to Ramadan, it's, it's a it's a sobering experience. So you're thinking about the people that are less fortunate. You're thinking about things that you're doing out there. You're thinking, is it necessary what you're doing? Bear brothers, they be out there drinking, smoking, doing all type of drugs and then things. But in Ramadan, you know, you put that on pause and you think, like, oh, do you really need that? And, yeah, man, it's just, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. So it's a month to self-reflect, get yourself in check, you know, wash yourself out, get, you know, get yourself spiritually clean, physically, mentally, and to think about those that are less fortunate than yourselves, would you say? Yeah. Okay, all right, and so, now that you're in, jail, I know it's not a nice place to be and you know, as I said it's Ramadan so it's a it's a month where the Ummah, the um the Muslim community are gonna be getting together. So how are you finding doing the holiest month in prison? How are you finding it? Obviously there's less temptation in jail but where you've got so much time on your hands, you know, you're looking around, you're looking at your vape, you're looking at your cup of water, your juice it's, you know, it's, it's, it's a struggle, but mainly the thing about Joe is, you know, when you're surrounded by bare prisoners all the time, like, you know, certain things happen, certain situations occur and that. And the thing is, you can't be fasting when you be doing evil thoughts, evil deeds. So sometimes, you know, you just can't keep your fast because you got to keep up certain things, certain people could get dealt with, and, yeah. Okay, okay, so, all right, and so, you, you kind of touched on the side, and also we're going to touch on this, so like, you know, we're, we're, we're in an environment where not everybody gets on, how do you deal with that in this month where if you're arguing with somebody out the window or there's some argument going on for whatever reason, how do you find that while you're fasting? Is it hard? Is it difficult? Is it break your fast? Do you want to elaborate on that? Obviously... It's one of them ones, normally, you know, you have petty arguments with someone and, you know, it's cracking straight away type of thing. But in Ramadan, you know, you think about, you think about, is it worth it or not type of thing. And then, of course, in certain situations, it does become worth it and, and you can't avoid the situation and you have to deal with it. And, you know, when you have to deal with it, you, just, you can't fast and it, it, it kind of ruins the month. But, you know, you can always make up for it. The days that you miss, you make up for them. At the end of the day, when you got a problem with someone, you got to handle that. You can't avoid it. you got to handle that. Okay, all right. Well, let's, well, let's touch it back up on a lighter note, because what I've been seeing on the wing, especially, is how the brothers, you're breaking bread with each other. Um, there seems to be a good community spirit on the wing, and that's with the Muslims, the Christians... The Sikhs, that's everybody. Everybody seems to be getting involved. So, being a Muslim,
them in prison. Um, we know there's a lot of stuff in the media about a lot of different situations. How do you find that impacts on you, first, as a person, secondly, as um, a member of the faith that you're trying to establish, and thirdly, as a young man in Britain, how, how do you find it? Of course, you know, in jail when you're faster with the brothers and that, you know, you're cooking every night and that, you know, there's a sense of unity, you're, you're cooking together. And whether another person wants to get involved in a whip, whether you're a Christian, Sikh, whatever, like you're going to get involved in a whip, you know, it's, 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 it's a love type of thing. And, and all of these things that's happening out there, I mean, you know, we're, we're in the West and the Western media, we only see what they choose for us to see. And they try to paint an image that Muslims are a certain type of way. But most of the Muslim brothers that I know that's proper on their deen, they're peaceful people. But, you know, you got to realise the things that Muslims are doing, cool, there's some of them that give us a bad name. But the West, they're destroying whole cities, like Syria and that used to be beautiful. Afghanistan used to be beautiful. A lot of the Middle East used to be beautiful. And it just got destroyed. The drone strikes all the time, children dying, tens of thousands of people dying. And so, cool, you can look at it in a way like a terrorist attack is a bad thing, but at the same time, if that didn't happen, you wouldn't see what's going on in the Middle East. Okay. So, as it is the holiest month, and, um, you know, we're dealing with a lot of war torn countries, um, with regards to those that are in Syria, Afghanistan, Pakistan, even Africa, um, how do you think they're celebrating this month? I feel like for them, in those type of places, you have to eat to survive. And, you know, I, I don't know how they do it. I don't know how they do it. So, you know, sometimes when you're thinking, oh, I'm not going to fast today because I need to smoke a vape, like, you got to think back there. Them and there, they got a one bag of rice between the whole family, and they still do it. And obviously, it's, it must be very difficult for them because over there, wealth, wealth is is scarce, and it's all about values and and those type of things out there. So yeah, it must it, it must be hard. It must be hard. All right. So all right then. So S, seeing you a few times and that booked you a few times in the block and all that, you know, when we've been in our naughty ones, yeah. So. How is your faith helping you to become a better individual? How is how is practicing Islam in prison? How is doing your five daily prayers? How is doing your surahs? How is that helping you to become a better human being? Of course, um, you know, when you're praying in that, you got to keep a certain mindset. You're not going to be praying while you've got bad thoughts around you. You're going to keep a clear mind. It keeps you clear-minded. You know, and, and certain things you be doing throughout the day, you know, you, you hold it down a lot, you know what I'm saying? Ramadan, you hold it down a lot, you know. But, yeah, I mean, it, it helps me in a way that it calms me down, and it? That's, that's, that's what I can say. Okay. All right. Well, listen, this is the Church of the Lion God, Pastor Ish. We're going to keep on coming to you to let you know what's really going on from behind the prison walls and that, what's really cracking, not what's on the news, not what's on the newspapers, but we're going to let you know what's going on with the brothers that are actually doing it, that are living it, eating it, sleeping it, and pooing it. So, you know, just tuning in. And um, my brother S, is there anything that you'd like to say to the brothers and sisters before we sign off on this message? I just want to say, you know, everyone in jail right now, give my salam. Hope Ramadan's going well. You know, just, just hold it down at least for the month. Any isms and that. Deal with it in a couple of days, guys. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, listen. Yeah, that's, listen, that's my brother S, yeah? We're coming live and direct from HMP, the Church of the Lion God, Pastor Ish. All right, just stay tuned in. And, um, yeah, man, just keep praying. So, yeah, keep praying, keep praying, keep praying. Glory be to God. Amen.